My name is Aiko Kosa, and I'm an advanced heart failure and transplant cardiologist here at Northwestern Medicine. I serve as the director of the Northwestern Cardiac Amyloid Program, a program that's dynamic in patient care, patient-centered research, and education. It is important to have a cardiac amyloidosis program here at Northwestern because cardiac amyloid is one of several causes of heart failure. What we've learned is that not all treatments for heart failure are beneficial for patients with cardiac amyloidosis. In fact, some can actually be detrimental. The cardiac amyloid program collaborates with general cardiologists, heart failure cardiologists, electrophysiologists, cardiologists who specialize in imaging such as echo, nuclear cardiology, and cardiac MRI, and genetic cardiologists. The most challenging part of caring for patients with cardiac amyloidosis is demystifying it as a rare disease. Cardiac amyloid is actually more common than we think. The fact that it's a rare condition or termed a rare condition leads to late diagnosis, and late diagnosis leads to late treatment initiation and poor outcomes in these patients. Cardiac amyloid is more common. It's hidden in plain sight. We just have to look for it. So the diagnosis of cardiac amyloidosis can be challenging, but it starts with a clinical suspicion. If you think about it, if you suspect it, then you at least start considering patients to have it. When we diagnose patients with cardiac amyloidosis, we start with their clinical history. Patients may give us clues, bilateral carpal tunnel, issues with spinal stenosis, biceps tendon rupture. We utilize tests such as the ECG, the echocardiogram, cardiac MRI, and we're able to make the full diagnosis either with nuclear scanning, a technician pyrophosphate scan, or endomyocardial biopsy. Clinical research plays a significant role as part of our cardiac amyloid program here at Northwestern Medicine. Our patients are given the opportunity to help shape the diagnosis and treatment landscape of, for patients with cardiac amyloidosis, whether it's participating in trials centered around the use of artificial intelligence or enrolling them in pharmacologic trials to help establish new therapeutic treatments for patients with cardiac amyloid. Referring physicians should choose the Northwestern Medicine Cardiac Amyloid Program because we take a collaborative approach. Our patients are not gonna trade one set of providers for another, rather, their team is going to expand with Northwestern Medicine being part of their team. We collaborate with their referring provider with the goal of the patient being at the center. We will collaborate together to ensure good outcomes for our patients.